I'm trying to remember on on who's who. Okay, I think hmm, I'm vibing more with Fargus or Laycaster. I'm um, I think Fargus is Dimitri, right? Holy Kingdom is team. Okay, well we are the Angel Army, so it would make sense if we go to the Holy Kingdom, right? Okay. Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. They're all really unique. I mean, I feel Claude has a good energy. Dimitri is a good balance of... Like, he's he's very noble. Like, I like Edelgard how, how kind of like... Almost like a stickler to the rules. She is. Dimitri is almost like... A perfect middle. And Claude is just... It seems like such a free spirit... Charmer, you know? And so, I feel like Dimitri is that perfect in-between. He seems quite sincere. But I sense darkness looking with Darkness? Did I choose a new- Did I choose an alternative- Riku? Did I do it again? She's a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. His easy smile is striking. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Oh, Sothis, you're gonna make me yawn. White clouds, great tree moon, three houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor, rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery.
is here. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Hmm? Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Oh. The Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. She looked exactly like Lady Seros, though. I thought that was her for a, a second. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Oh. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? I'm so sorry, Daddy! <laughs> he was my father all along! I thought he was a mercenary! I thought he was just a regular mercenary! I- I am- I am- I am disrespectful, child. I am so sorry! <laughs> ah! Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name's Aura. My name is... A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Of course. Anybody would have done it. I'm not anything special. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Hmm? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, Farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? Serpent? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. 
Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Dad, what do you have against Lady Rhea? I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Okay. I'll try my best. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're a physician? You're a songstress? I'm actually really curious. She's a professor, a physician, and a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Oh. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? No. Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. Mm -hmm. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment... The old oh, man I'm sorry. Has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. Okay. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Thank you. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flame is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. 
More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the Church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. I've seen the girl with the pink uh, uh, pigtails everywhere. I feel that. <laughs> oh! Job. Of course. <gasps> well, let's find the monastery. Arstek move. Zoom in. Dash. If you're ever unsure what to do next, look to the left of the screen. Your current objective will be displayed there. <gasps> I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy. Yes. Correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Sure. Accept. Quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who can give or involved with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quest you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. Icons for essential quests are red. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Hmm. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? Yeah. You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay. Oh, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Oh, Dragonkin said Petra. Okay, let's let's go with Petra. 
To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Okay, so that's Petra. Who? Let me see. Uh, Ferdinand? For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. Strengths. Sword. He's good at everything. What? His house is that of Duke Ayer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... Perhaps too pleased with its own status. Mm. Let's see. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. Oh, are you sure that's not a male version of me? <laughs> Actually, no, sorry. Uh, I'm not not intelligent, but, um... If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Catnap? That's literally his ability. If unit takes no action except wait, recovers up to... Wow, okay. Okay, uh, somebody said Dorothea. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. So cute! She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Oh, just like the teacher! Oh! I like her hat. I have a hat similar to that. And Casper? He's the second son of Count Burglies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. Aww. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Okay. Hello there. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. At least you're honest. 